Hello everybody, Frank Kenny here. I'm with uh, Don Injimi. Very good. <laughs> yeah, Very good. I got it. <laughs> so, Don, you own Chamber Mail, and um, this concept is pretty interesting to me. Would you explain it to people? Sure. What we typically do is we serve the underserved member segment of any Chamber of Commerce. Chambers still today are driven by either B2B programs or tourism programs. So what we service are the B2C, the consumer-driven members. And typically what we offer, and I say we, we've been in the industry for a couple decades, what we offer those, that member segment, are networking events. Well, I'll, I'll use Joe's Pizza as an example. Joe's Pizza's marketing footprint is a little bit bigger than just the other members. It's all the surrounding communities. So what we do is we offer a direct mail piece that they can put their ad on, and we mail that to every new resident in their marketing, the chamber's marketing footprint. And what we do is we reach these new residents within a few weeks of them moving in. The purpose for that is we're reaching them as they're establishing their buying, shopping, and commute habits. Because what we want them to do is do all their new business and establish all their new habits with chamber members. And what this also does is on every mail piece we drive all the new residents to the chamber's website. And what that does, it instills the old concept of the way chambers used to be. Meaning, the chamber is the focal point for all products and services for new residents. We want that to come to, come to play again today. So, so a couple questions here. One is, isn't direct mail kind of going away and then another one is, can you tell us about a success story, or, you know, a business that you really helped? Sure. Uh, it's funny you ask me about direct mail going away on a day that the, the post office has just cut out, uh, as far as August 5th, they're cutting off Saturday delivery with the exception of packages. No, it's not going away. Uh, and I just had this discussion with an executive director a few minutes ago, I believe from Coronado. Uh, today, still, Direct mail is the only medium we have in marketing that you could potentially reach 100% of your market segment. The reason I say that, I'll ask you a simple question, Frank. Do you know anyone that doesn't get mail? No, you have to still get mail. You have to still get mail. People may pay their bills online. I do as well. But people still get mail and they still make purchases through websites from the direct mail. The direct mail drives the websites. Gotcha. Um, a success story as far as the Chamber of Commerce what might be, well, we have many chambers uh, giving a success story than we are. Uh, we, December 8th, this past year, we turned four years old. We we're already in 43 states. And we serve hundreds of chambers. And it's not that this is rocket science. This is much as we are definitely filling the void that no one is really servicing the consumer-driven members. Cape Cod, for instance. Uh, they've been with us since day one in Massachusetts. Uh, they realized that they're pretty much 95% tourism based and they came to the realization is they weren't servicing all the people that stayed on the Cape all year long. And they weren't offering these, these members anything but networking events. Well, typically the service based businesses or the consumer driven um, businesses or members don't have the time to go to these networking events. So Chamber Mail actually gives them an example, or an opportunity, if you will, to be involved without getting involved. As far as member success stories, I don't have any individual success stories because we don't go back and poll the members. All I can tell you is that we have an 83% renewal rate across the country from members. In today's economy, Joe's Pizza, if you will, doesn't have $500 to throw out and not get anything in return. So, with an 83% renewal rate, we know John Q Business on Main Street, which is where this program is focused and designed to help, it's working. Yeah, well it sounds like a no-brainer to me. Somebody's new to a community, they don't have a dentist yet, they don't have a mechanic yet, uh, you get them with a mailer, you get them in the door once, it's much better to keep a customer than to find you a new one, and so once you get that established, keep them. It just sounds like a no-brainer. And absolutely, and what, what, what makes it even that much more viable is that on every mail piece, which is a 6x11 postcard, it's an oversized postcard, the front of it has a chamber logo. So now it's hitting the chamber, it's hitting the mailbox with Chamber of Commerce credibility. Yeah, very good. Well, thanks for taking the time. Well, so thanks for stopping by, Frank.